Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. And since a new semester is starting, I thought it would be great to showcase some of the study apps that I found useful. So don't forget to stick around since I will be giving away an app subscription for free. So without further ado, let's get started. The first app is Sigma Planner and honestly, I have been trying for years to find the right app to help organize my school schedule and I am so thankful to have found Sigma Planner. Sigma Planner allows me to add my subjects and customize their colors so you can easily color code your subjects. I can create my class using either free form, period, or blocks and set a notification of when will the app remind me that I have a next class. In each subject, I can create tasks whether that will be a homework, a test, a to-do, and so on. And I can even set a due date for it. The app will then ask me when I would like to be reminded about my task. What's best is that it has such a good user interface and it's just easy to use. The best thing is that all features are for free. I honestly never miss a deadline or a class thanks to this app and I am even using it right now for college. The next app is a note-taking app that is so good I think this is a must-have for every student. Now, the name of the app is no other than Foxit PDF Editor. As the name suggests, it is a PDF editor that is much more powerful than the other PDF editors I have seen. With this, I can create my own PDFs using the blank PDF feature and this helps those who would like to create their own digital notes or create their own exercises. I can also annotate my physical notes by using the scan feature to scan my physical notes and upload them to the app and annotate it. One of my favorite features in the app is being able to add pictures, audio, and even video to my PDF. Now, this really helps, especially those who like to add references or tutorials to their PDFs to help understand the content better. Another feature I like is this pin feature. With this feature, I can pin any PDF I uploaded to the app to my currently annotated PDF. This helps if I have a PDF that I would like to add as a reference, and it saves me time from exiting the annotated PDF and finding that PDF and opening it. You can also view the PDF in dark mode to help lessen the eye strain when viewing PDFs at night. And you can also change the colors of the paper color if you want. One cool feature is that you can allow the app to read the text aloud. And this helps students who prefer listening to their notes. Amadeo Avogadro 1776 Most of the features I mentioned are premium features of the app, but do not worry. Thanks to Foxit Edu, they provided me a code to let you access all the premium features for free. Just download the app and click Discover, click Help, click Activate, and input the code as shown on the screen. Don't forget to capitalize the appropriate letters because capitalization matters. Now, after entering the code, click activate and that's it. Now, the next app is Small PDF. This app is like a file converter app and this is useful if your professors are very picky on what file type you should submit. This app can convert your files to Word, PDF, PowerPoint, or even Excel. Other features of this is the ability of compiling all your JPEG images into a PDF and even merging and arranging several PDFs into one whole PDF. I personally find this useful if I want to quickly convert my files and also convert the pictures of my solutions into a PDF and have an easier time submitting it to my teacher. Now, the last app is called Symbolab, and I swear all math students must find this app helpful. Symbolab is a very powerful math calculator that can calculate different equations. It not just gives you the answer, 
but it also shows you step-by-step -step solutions on how to get the answer so you now won't be stuck thinking how do we get this answer. Now, note that if you want even more step-by-step -step solutions, you will have to purchase a premium subscription of Symbolab, but in my case, the free solutions is already helpful enough. So those are all the apps that I found useful for school, and I hope you guys found this video useful. If you do, please like this video and subscribe to never miss any of my videos. And do comment down below what is your favorite study or school app. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!